Hey everyone, Mike here. I'm going to show you how I take <clears throat> a block of foam like this. This is one inch EVA foam. It's a two pound EVA foam and it floats like a cork. This stuff is really pretty awesome. Um, it's not something that's really easily found. If you can find it aw awesome, go ahead and get it. But I, I will be uh, having this foam available. It's a full one inch thick. And <clears throat> what you can do with it is uh, plug it like I have this one here and come up with these plugged pieces of foam right here they are right at one half of an inch in diameter now what I'm going to do <clears throat> is take this foam and print on it and the way I what I end up with when I print on it is I get this right here uh, these things um, if you like coloring them is pretty awesome uh, you just print on them from your standard um, computer printer and uh, you end up with a really nice uh, really nice product here's one that um, I did and I have a clear coat on it that will uh, prevent it from bleeding out and fading uh, with use on the water or UV um, uh, exposure so let's go ahead and get into how I actually get this print on that uh, on that uh, piece on that tubing on that uh, round plugged piece of EVA foam. All right. So what I need to get the transfer is this type of paper right here. This is um, some material that I went to a local sign shop, uh, not a little uh, in the basement type sign shop, a sign shop that makes relatively large signs. You can probably get it from small pe people too, but if you want to get um, a roll like this, this is a roll of uh, what used to be um, vinyl, a transfer vinyl that you see on signage all over the place, on cars, on windows on buildings on signs it's this stuff right here and the reason why I like it is because it's heavier than another material that you can get but it's just so uh, coily until you undo it and remove the um, remove the uh, the vinyl on it what this stuff is is just shelf liner it's a clear shelf liner you can use any shelf liner colored uh, with the texture on it or whatever and what you do okay you will grab the corner and just peel off the um, the, the the vinyl that's on it and just throw it away uh, if you can find something else to do with this without uh, wasting it more power to you. Let us know about it. Um, but this also has a, a, um, a shiny uh, wax type finish to it. But um, this stuff here is nowhere near as heavy duty as this as this here. And, that, and that's why I like using this and I'll show you another reason here in a minute. So that's enough of where you can get your own transfer paper to take an image off of this and put it onto your piece of foam. So I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my printer real quick and print it off. Now what you'll want to do is you're going to want to put an X or something on a sheet of paper like that right there. Okay. And then you'll put the paper in your printer. If, it, if it's a back feed, you'll put it on top with the X facing out. If it's a tray feed, you put it in with the X facing. I think it'll end up being facing down because when the paper goes through a tray printer, it goes through and comes up like this to come out on the uh, printed tray. So if, it's, if the printer is a tray type where you pull a tray out, from your printer to put your paper in, you will take this and put it down in the tray. Or if it's a feed straight through printer where the paper's coming in, feeding in from the back, 
then you'll put the shiny side facing up. All right, but the idea of this X is to find out what side of the paper that your image is being pr printed on. So if you put the X on there and you put it in either on the uh, back feed or the tray feed and it's printed on this side, you know what side to put your paper on. If it's printed on the other side, then you know that you have to have the shiny side facing in the direction that the print ends up being on the paper. So let me go ahead and throw this in the printer. Okay, so what I do is I've got a uh, PDF file that's available online and um, you can find that file on my website and well actually it'll be a lot easier uh, to find it through this video and you can find it at a link that I'll have below this video on my YouTube channel. Uh, so if you're watching this on a um, on a uh, group or my Facebook feed or Twitter or whatever, um, just click on the uh, video and that should take you to my YouTube channel and then with this video and then just below the video in the description there will be links in there for you to use. So let's go ahead and print this off real quick. Okay, this is what we end up on the printed side, on the glossy side. And what happens is when you print on a glossy paper like this, um, that does not absorb the ink, what happens is the ink stays wet. And then all you're going to need to do is take the, uh, the paper, lay it down face up, um, and then use something to roll it across. I made this from a small piece of um, uh, aluminum sheet. And then I put a, um, like a foam rubber furniture cushion on there so that I can roll my uh, foam through. So let's go ahead and, um, and do that real quick. So I'll line up the foam to the image as close to the edge here as I possibly can. Put my roller on top of the EVA and then just roll it through just like that. And this is what we end up with right there. That, <laughs> that you have to admit, is pretty cool. Um, and then the other thing that I do, uh, now, now this, this, this ink is still wet. So really what you should do is just print it up, set it aside, and then what you can do uh, to extend the life of your uh, uh, paper is you'll take some alcohol swabs or um, have some a bottle of alcohol and a little uh, paper towel or something and then you'll just take that and clean the image off with the alcohol and then like that and then you've got yourself a nice clean piece of paper to where you can take it over uh, take it over to your printer and uh, print another image on there and you're, and you're, <clears throat> and you're good, good to go. You can do, I don't know how many, probably dozens of them on, on one sheet of paper. Um, one of the things that I might do is, um, I haven't done it yet, but one of the things I might do is print up um, a number of PDF forms like PDF 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 um, and maybe even put a whole sheet. The problem is if, I, if you printed out a whole sheet, um, you're not going to be able to get to the final one without smudging up the ink going over top of the others or, or whatever. You really want to work with one image at a time. At the most, you might work with however many images you can get across um, the top of the paper. I wouldn't try and do rows, but you might do a, a, a column of one row. Um, I actually, I might go ahead and do that. That way, if you do want to do this and you want to mass produce them to a point, um, you can get four or five of them at, at a time per print. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> the other thing is, we'll see what, I, oh yeah, uh, just set it aside, let it dry. And actually, that one's not dry yet. Let me grab this one here. This one here's uh, one I did, well, for Pete's sakes. One that I did a few minutes ago or a little bit ago, and um, uh, 
I just want to show you that to finish it up, you might want to do a cup, take a red a red sharpie, and then just hit hit the end of it like so. And then if you want to do the uh, red dot underneath, um, just kind of just give it one just like that, and then uh, wait for it to dry. And then after it dries, like this one did, go ahead and stick a, a nice uh, needle in the in the back side where approximately where the uh, the hole will come through for when you load it up onto a hook. And then you'll take um, oops something like this right here. Um, it's a clear. Uh, they call it a, a spar uh, urethane. It's uh, fast drying, as you can see on there. Uh, it has a UV protection formula. It's outdoors. Uh, it's, it can be used outdoors, uh, and it is water-based. And what that means is, being water-based, um, you can use it inside without having a lot of uh, fumy smells. Um, if you're going to do like dozens of them at a time then I'd probably go out in my garage or down my shop or outside or something and do, do them there but uh, there you go I mean this here take one real quick and then uh, and then just coat it and then after that dries that'll be protected and then you would uh, finish it up uh, by tying your uh, put your shaft put your shaft on tie it onto a hook or however you uh, want to do your uh, do your foam poppers anyway um, those things that's a pretty unique way of coloring your poppers if you have any questions feel free to uh, shoot them to me I'll do my best to answer them for you uh, this is pretty straightforward though it's a really easy thing to do the only thing you need is this, is the paper a printer uh, and download the image that I'll have below this video on YouTube. Uh, this is Mike. Until the next video, thanks for watching.